Hey guys, back with another episode on how we beat the Seahawks. Last time I was talking about how we tackled well on third down. This one I'm going to show how we covered well on third down. That when you're playing the Seahawks, as I talked about in the previous one, they don't have a really um, complex offense. It's usually first three, check down, Russell Wilson backyard football. And so what that means is you have to be ready for that. You have to understand where he's looking when he's when he's, he's doing his quick progression, what he's looking at, and if that's taken away, everybody else has to be ready for what you do when you get into the scramble drill. Um, we have a couple players who do some things very well. But let's go ahead and show this how we take away what they're looking to do. So like the last one, we, we're going to come out with this, you know, bringing these our linebackers up, sugaring these gaps. We, we don't bring them up like we normally do, you know, where we have this – tackle split out wide and these guys are covering the a gaps so this time we're gonna we're gonna make it look like we're bringing an overload on this side as you can see there's five guys over here on this side of the center where there's only four blockers so we're trying to show an overload on this side and the last time we showed a single high safety and went went with a cover two this time we are just going to come with a cover three um so this guy's going to be in a deep third we're going to have a deep third we're going to have a deep third and we're actually not going to to bring more than four rushers, we're going to end up backing all three of these guys out. Um, tr we're trying to get them to slide the line and the running back this side so that we can bring a rusher over here so that you can rush four, but you've manufactured it like you're rushing five or six so that you can still play seven-man coverage on the back end. So we're going to have four underneath defenders, and this is how it's going to look. Sherman's going to be in a deep third. This is Antoine Exum. He's in a middle third. Tavarius Moore is in a deep third, and this guy's going to drop back, he's going to drop back, he's going to drop back, and then he's going to drop out this way. And then we're actually bringing this this uh, nickel or safe, safety, I can't really tell who that is, um, but we're bringing him on a blitz, and then these guys up the middle. So we're only rushing four, and what Seattle's going to turn and do here is they're going to run an out route with... Uh, with this guy right here. They're going to run an out route over here. What they're trying to do is set this up for Doug Baldwin to go across the field. They're trying to grab this corner. They're expecting cover three, and they're, they're trying to grab this corner to come down on this route so that they can slip Doug Baldwin in paint behind him, or if we're blitzing, to be able to get him inside this safety, across, get him to cross the face of that that defender and come across the field this is going to be the primary read and then they're going to have mike davis i believe this is mike davis um, or chris carson i can't tell exactly which um but he's going to be on a check release so he's what he's going to do is he's going to come up check check for the blitz if there's a blitzer he'll block and then look to sneak out into the flat so what we're we, we what happens here is fred warner do, is going to do a really good job squeezing this route and I'll talk about it as we go to the film here so here's the snap of the ball you see these guys are just they're trying to grab these these outside defenders and pull them and they're trying to get him across and you see Fred Warner turned and he did a good job of locating a crosser because one thing that you have to be careful of with this cover three is they is teams will do things to occupy your single receiver side where they're trying to get that that outside third guy to get be occupied and either be run off or come up on an out route or a comeback route and they'll come across the field on a deep crosser. They're, these are hard routes to cover. When Reuben Foster in 2017 did a really good job covering these, not so much in 2018. And Fred Warner was a little slow on recognizing these earlier in the year, but here he sees it because and this hook curl, def curl defender in our cover three, his his primary responsibility goes, number one, if there's a vertical route, squeeze the seam. So that is his number one responsibility in pass coverage, just to squeeze the seam, protect, it, uh, protect your safety. And so he turns, looks, sees somebody running down the seam area, and he, he immediately jumps to him to squeeze the seam. And you can see, this is where Russell Wilson's looking. He wants to hit this route. But Fred Warner does a good job of running, carrying that route, and that makes Russell Wilson move off. Now, Russell Wilson then turns, and he's looking to see the out route. It's not there. Well, actually, I think he's looking here because he's trying to see if the running back is available. Um, we've got the out route bracketed anyways. But he's trying to see, did my running back sneak out to the flat? He's not there. And so at that point, he just takes off. See, he's gone one, two, and then he's out. So he's looking down the field one, 
to I'm gone because that's pretty much what Russell Wilson does. He doesn't ha- he doesn't have any pressure on him, and that's why one reason you'll see when we play them that these two uh, rushers up the middle will will sit back a little bit sometimes because they're waiting for him to roll out. They're just really in a spy. They're looking for it. When's Russell Wilson going to roll out? Because if those first couple reads are taken away, that's what he's doing. And so he takes off running. Now, one thing you have to remember, once a quarterback leaves the pocket, there is no illegal contact down the field anymore. So defenders have to be aware of this, you know, because so many times they'll just try and, and shadow their man. Once that quarterback breaks the tackle, they can hit the receivers. This is no longer, you know, protected receivers can run their routes. This is backyard football, and these guys are are open to be able to be hit. So Russell Wilson takes off, and we have one, our zone defender. This is why you play zone against running quarterbacks, because now you have guys with eyes on the quarterback. He He's able to, to attack. What Richard Sherman does over here is really heads up because he sees Russell Wilson coming out to this side, so he turns and immediately finds his receiver and goes and lays him out. He knocks him on his rear end. That's a really smart play. That's a veteran play right there. That is why we bring a guy like Richard Sherman here because he sees this happening, and he he doesn't worry about going and getting Russell Wilson. He flies over here and knocks his receiver on his hindquarters because he, he's trusting that these two guys are going to go stop Russell Wilson, and he's not going to give him somewhere to throw on this side of the field. He understands it's a scramble drill. This receiver can be hit now, and I'm going to lay him on his butt. He lays him down. Russell Wilson throws the ball in that direction because he's he's trying to draw a flag. You actually watch here. He'll point. There he goes. See, he's pointing. He's saying there should be a flag. This receiver says it too. They actually throw a flag, and Richard Sherman runs over there and says no, and that's why the sideline's erupting. They're saying no, he was out of the pocket. It didn't matter You know that, that he hit him, and they actually they do pick up the flag on this play. But this is an, an example of we put, we took away his primary, his secondary was gone, and then we were ready for the scramble drill. That this is why you bring a guy like Richard Sherman in. He's he plays good football from above the shoulders, and understands the rules and what he can do. 